Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I'm Mediocre Montgomery. I'm back from the fucking dead. And a lot of you are going to be wondering, uh, where, where the hell did my channel go? Mediocre Montgomery. Well, so essentially, I made a video called, uh, I found a gay racist porn star on Twitter. Uh, YouTube saw the title, to my understanding, and then watched probably the first 30 fucking seconds of the video. The first 30 seconds of the video was essentially me shitting on him. I'm not even going to mention his name because I don't, I don't want to get flagged as a fucking bully again. This guy's a legitimate racist, but I can't criticize him without being called a bully. And I'm assuming it's because uh, homosexuals are a protected class under their policy, whatever the hell. I, the only reason I mentioned he was gay was because shouldn't gay people be all about equality? But here he is, just, you no, know, white people are not of equal status. Black people should have it better. Well, no, everyone should have it equal. I mean, it's really sad that I have to break this down for people especially a fucking multi-million dollar corporation, you know? <laughs> Regardless, that's why I'm here out in the freezing fucking cold, walking down one of the roads from Silent Hill. <laughs> I, I didn't even think I was being that bad. I, I, you know, I went to upload the video the first time and it got taken down. I got a warning. And as far as I know, from what I read, it was supposed to be a warning and then I get three strikes afterwards. So I re-uploaded the video thinking, well, that's odd. But then I thought, oh wait, this is probably some bullshit that I should take seriously. So I deleted the video myself. And then I went back through and edited out all the parts where I was like, oh, you fucking idiot, you dumbass, you son of a bitch. The gloves are off. Listen, you son of a bitch. What the fuck's your problem? You want to sit here and say that I'm a goddamn fucking bully. Get in my face with that. I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn fucker. Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking crossed the line. Get that through your goddamn fucking head. Stop pushing your shit. You're the people that have fucked this country over and gang raped the shit out of it. Then my whole channel was just gone. And from what I was reading, I should have only got my first strike. Yeah. Which, from what I read, would have just been, I'm banned from YouTube, uh, being able to go live, and upload videos for two weeks roughly. I didn't get that. My entire channel got terminated for calling out a legitimate racist. Now I'm stuck spinning my fucking wheels in the mud once again, having to start over and gather all of like my whole like 65 subscribers or whatever. So, well, here I am. I'm back. Hello fans, today is the birthday of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I'm going to be covering a really nice guy I found on Twitter. Happy birthday, Jesus. Fuck! So, like I said, I was on Twitter, and I came across the video of this Latino man, he was clearly detained, and you know, was being led into a back room by a handful of police. And... I couldn't find a whole lot on the video itself, uh, like article wise, so we're just gonna have to take the video at face value, and at face value this clearly isn't how police should conduct themselves in any sort of way. But if you can find anything else out, uh, mention it down in the comments, that would be extremely helpful, but like I said for the sake of the argument, we're just gonna take it at face value.
a really nice guy said, and I quote, But me hating on white people is the issue, with the little stupid ass rolling eye emoji, you know, as if he's fucking woke or something. But, uh, the fact is that you hating on white people kind of is the fucking issue. We have a video depicting a heinous, clearly racially fueled act, and then you throw your racist fucking hat in the ring, shitting on white people. Like, you, you realize you're white, right? Like, people like me that uh, defend every race uh, and try to keep it uh, on an equal playing ground for everyone, you know, equality, uh, is proof that I'm a white guy and I'm not racist. Your, your argument's been dismantled already. And, and you're white too, but, I, you know, I honestly think you're racist. But, I mean, you realize you're white. Did it ever dawn on you, like, oh, oh shit, whoa. What's all this white skin doing on my fucking fingers and arms? Ew, how the hell did all this skin get on my arm? I mean, you didn't even specify, like, racist white people. You just said, hating on white people. You just generalize us, you know, you know as if we're all fucking racist. Uh, I'm not. So again, there, there you go, Fuck you Uncle Ruckus. Hey there, Robert. I'd offer to help you with your bag, but you're a coon. What? There was one guy on my level, and he said, It is if you paint an entire race with a broad brush. I agree with that. A really nice guy. Reply. When that race historically, keyword historically, is the number one colonizer causes mass genocides, and the head of every big corporation that is outsourcing production to pollute lower class countries, which is ultimately killing our entire planet, and still lives with ten times more privilege, dot dot dot. And it goes on, then everyone else, I don't really mind the concept of leveling the playing field, fair doesn't work in a world that is unfair. Holy fuck. Okay. As I said, keyword historical. Do, do you not realize that all those, like, white colonizers and shit, uh, they've been dead, you know, for, uh, <laughs> quite some fucking time. Yeah, it's been a minute. I don't know, unless, like, white devils are actually immortal. Eat water. <laughs> All right, this white devil thing has gone far enough. Also, what genocides? Uh, take a uh, the Holocaust. It was it was white on white genocide, or Stalin purging his country, uh, <laughs> and and other countries in in fucking Europe. It, it, it was mainly white people. Mainly white people. Uh, white on white. And then, how about we take uh, the Rwandan genocide? Hmm. Uh, what about that? That was just black on black genocide. You, uh, you act as... It's not... You're drawing things in uh, racial lines. But you said it in, in your reply. Uh, something about class. It, you know, the world usually only works out pretty well for people higher up, you know, with more money and power. And then everyone down below that is just fucked. You know, uh, it's, it's not just black people that have it hard. Take a, take a trip through, uh, rural West Virginia and you will see poverty level 9,000. You know, people with their teeth falling out of their fucking head, addicted to Mountain Dew and chewing tobacco, uh, while they sleep in a beat-down old fucking Ford Ranger or shit, you know, day in, day out, breathing coal dust their entire lives. You know, it's, it's not a fucking race thing. It's a fucking class thing. And there is an issue in this country, but it's not fucking racism. Sure, there are racist people. You know what? Yeah, there are racist people. 
but they're not out there in the numbers that you're fucking projecting. You're insane. You really need to reevaluate your entire fucking outlook on life. An another thing, it's almost as if, I don't know, people of every race and culture are just intrinsically violent. You know? Uh, a lot of people like to fucking point fingers at uh, uh, old whitey. You know, uh, during the American Plains Indian Wars, you know? Well... You know, there were uh, entire divisions called the, the Buffalo Soldiers that were just African-American troops out there hunting Indians, too. Right? They, they, you know, they, they were out there doing it, too. It wasn't just like, oh, man, our non-white brothers out there getting murdered and annihilated. On the issue of class, uh, with all the white privilege shit, again, you're white. If, if you're so fucking concerned with uh, white privilege, why don't you just give up everything you own to a poor black man? You know, or a poor Latino man in this instance, since the, you know, the video was uh, that poor. Give everything to that poor Latino man that you own. Your swank little apartment, you know, all your money. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Because he deserves it more than you, white demon. Nobody! Alright, my peeps, in my humble conclusion, a really nice guy is a cocky twerp with an army of people that want to get in his pants and will tell him anything that he wants to hear to get in his pants, even though it's unlikely. He's ridiculous and detrimental. Actually, look at his bio. His bio... I'll, le I'll leave a picture. If you're watching, I don't think you're beyond redemption. Just cut the racist bull honky, you silly goose. That's all. I'm Mediocre Montgomery. If you would like and share, that would be killer. If you totally disagree and think I'm an idiot, leave a hateful comment. Check out our previous video. I'll uh, leave that in the bio or some shit. It's been real. Hope you all have a merry fucking Christmas. You probably won't even see this uh, being posted on Christmas, but... Sounds good to me. You want to do an outro? <laughs> Deep <laughs> Is this what you want, YouTube? You want me crucified? You want to crucify me? I'll be your fucking Judas. I'm done. <laughs>